Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hey, come along and watch me make some soap. This time it's for the guys. Hey guys, hey gals. Let me get that set up real quick. Make sure y'all can see me, all that kind of stuff. Okay, how's that? Oh, it's a little crooked. My goodness. Sorry guys, you know. I was not all prepared for this today, but anyway, I was able to do a whole lot in the last hour and a half since telling y'all I would go live. I'm still crooked, ain't I? Oh well. Oh well. Hey, John. Let me see if I can fix this. <laughs> okay. You guys know, if you, ought to, if you saw my apartment right now, you would see what I have to go through to um, transform my house into my... Um, this so anyway um happy valentine's day i hope you guys had a great day um i know there's only one person on but that's okay i'm gonna go ahead and explain uh what all i've done so far uh this bucket here is all of my hard oils melted i'm gonna be putting some olive oil into it some avocado oil some castor oil and the additives that i'm using in this soap is going to be colloidal oats bentonite clay, some walnut shells for a little bit of exfoliant, and then on, on the top, I'm gonna put some Hawaiian black salt. Um, I'm gonna use activated hardwood charcoal because that's really, really good for your skin. So is the bentonite. Unless you have sensitive skin, um, you may want to double check to make sure whether or not you should use bentonite clay because not everyone with sensitive skin can use bentonite clay, but um, since the soap is mainly for men, I don't think, I don't think, oh, well, anyway, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm using, I'm using that in my soap. Uh, it gives really nice slip. And also the activated hardwood charcoal. Um, I'm keeping it, uh, you know, well, I shouldn't say it's just for men because, you know, women can, you can use any soap you want to. It doesn't matter. So anyway, uh, so the colors are going to obviously be black. And then this beautiful color is called Peacock. You're going to see a theme here in a minute. <laughs> hey, Sheila. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so this is called Peacock. And this color is a satin gray pillowcase. You see the theme yet? Peacock pillowcase. Okay. That's stupid. I know. And I'm also using kale and clay. Um... So anyway, whole bunch of goodness. So let me get this going. I uh, got my lye already done. It's at the temperature it should be. It's perfect. And so I'm going to add the oils. I know, is it too dark? It's dark. You can hear me okay, right? Okay. Anyway, you're going to hear Lovey. She's over there meowing for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add the olive oil to this. I had to tear out my scale here. So I'm going to add the olive oil. 14 ounces of olive oil. And then uh, some avocado oil. It's brand new, so I need to open it here. Hopefully I can open it. Oh my gosh. What the what? Y'all, why did they make this that you can't even get into it? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm seriously having a cramp right here in my arm from doing that. Okay, I got it. <sighs> really? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Okay, next time, <laughs> remind me to open stuff like this before I get on camera. Okay, avocado oil, 10.5 ounces. <gasps> Perfect, wow. I'm getting good at this pouring stuff, you guys. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you for letting me know it sounds okay. All right. Um, so that was the olive. And that was the avocado. Let me add some castor oil. Castor oil is really good for your skin too. And it's also good for making a lot of bubbles in the soap. And I need 3.5 ounces. If I... 
<laughs> I might have just enough. Oh, I did. Look at that. Ooh -wee. I thought I was going to have to go get another bottle, but I don't. So that's good. Okay, let me get rid of all this stuff. I have to add my uh, three, three and a half teaspoons of uh, sodium lactate to my lysis. Guys, why didn't you tell me I didn't have my gloves on? Oh, MG, y'all are slacking. You're slacking. Okay, here we go. Getting ready to reach for that lie. Hmm, with no gloves on, that would not have been smart. Love these, my peanut gallery. Oh my God, come on. Why do gloves have to behave like this? Well, what in the world? Come on, they're brand new gloves. Maybe that's why I can't get it on. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> A little bit of Valentine's black cloud shenanigans going on up in here. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay, so the colors. Gray, black, and this beautiful peacock. It's like a dark teal color. Um, the kaolin clay I have in here, the bentonite clay I have in here, and uh, um, clay, and all the oils and the butters. And then this one I need to put, I need to put the sodium lactate in here. do anything without the blade attached. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. You guys know me. I'm always right on the ball, right? Okay, done with that. Done with that. Done with that. Okay. I need to mix these oil a little bit with those clays in it, so give me just a second. to it. This has to be completely mixed. Yeah. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> Sorry, I'll always call you Mikey. I'm scenting this with frankincense, uh, Palo Santo essential oil, and bergamot. And I'm not sure if this is going to set up on me or not. Oh, let's hope not. Oh, where's my, uh, I guess I'll use this. Um, and I left my 
box sitting over there because I was doing my measurements with it. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing something different this time. Instead of doing like this size mold, oh, I need to put the, I need to put this in still. Instead of doing, you know, like this little mold that holds 10 bars, I'm going to use this mold that I made. It holds quite a bit more. I still have some mixing to do with it, with this. But I need to put the uh, colloidal oats in here. Colloidal oats are great for the skin. I think you probably all probably know that. So when I poured this off into uh, into those containers for the colors, where you, oh my God! You guys, see what happens when I'm in a hurry. Thank you, Mikey. They're right here. Thanks for keeping me on the ball, you guys. I was in there trying to find my jeans and trying to worry about having some sleeves on. And look, they don't even—they're not even long sleeves. video is nothing like the last two, is it? Like, I'm not even on the ball! Okay. I don't know how much I'm putting in as far as my other spoon is. There it is. Essential oils. I already weighed this out. I know how much is going into it. One, two. Okay, so that's So you can tell by the uh, ingredients that I'm trying to keep this as natural as much, you know, as I can, except for this, which is the, uh, well, this whole thing's going in. This is the frankincense. Oh, it's brand new too. This is the frankincense fragrance oil. A lot more of this. The percentage is different on essential oils and fragrance oils. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> So, you know, the percentages are different, different usage percents. And I'm not sending this to be like, it's not going to, like when you rinse it off, it's not going to be like you just splashed cologne on. No, it's soap. It is a wash and rinse off product. Now, it smells, <laughs> it smells really good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so the color that I'm putting the walnut shell in is going to be the satin gray pillowcase because it's darker than the blue. And I don't have to measure this out. This is just going to be what I feel is what I want. So I'm just going to put some in it. Again, it's just to be a little bit of an exfoliant. It's not going to be, you know, like, like some of my coffee, you know, soaps, I use coffee grounds and, uh, It's a little scratchier. I actually have a, a I have a soap that's going to be in the in the near future. Another one for mechanics. I know several of you. You'll, you'll probably like that soap. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. This looks amazing. Everything is smooth. So I'm going to split this off into the two colors over there. And then the rest that I'm leaving in here is going to be the black with the activated hardwood charcoal. And you guys, I was going to, I'm telling you, I went around and around with myself while ago because I wanted to, uh, 
Uh, I can make soap pucks, Mike. Yep, definitely. I haven't yet, but I can. It's basically the same kind of uh, recipe. There's a few differences, and I've, I've studied them, of course. So, But um, bentonite clay is definitely one of them. That's why I'm putting bentonite clay in this, because this should be pretty good. I'm already sweating. This should be pretty good for that, too. Um, you can get some and let me know. You can be my official trier outer. <laughs> Whew. Guys, I still need glasses to go over my glasses. Hey, Andy. I saw you guys were uh, coming into Corpus, you and Jeannie. Are you here? <laughs> I hope you didn't waste your vacation time coming into uh, freezing cold Corpus Christi right now. They're saying that uh, this cold front that we're getting, I know it's nothing like up in Illinois right now. Hey, family. Um, but they're saying it's the coldest down here. Like right now, it's only like 30 degrees, but it's supposed to get colder. And they're saying it's the coldest down here in like 100 years. Do y'all realize that everything bad that's happened to Corpus Christi is just since I moved here? I mean, not literally. I moved here and like that, that following winter, they get the first snow in like 14 years, right? And then, uh, and then, after that, you know, and then they get to Hurricane Harvey. Hadn't had a hurricane in like for freaking ever, right? And now they're getting another snow storm that like they've never seen in forever. So I'm sorry, Corpus. I know everybody told me I. Well, I keep saying I have a bat, you know, a big black cloud that just kind of follows me everywhere I go, but I'm used to it, but I don't think anybody else is. I tell everybody, I do. I have a black cloud that follows me, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, well. There's nothing I can do about it, I guess. Play along with it. Okay, sorry. My nose is running. Because I'm hot. I'm burning up. Okay, here's the activated heart. Okay, so this, I don't want to breathe it. I need, to, I need to put that much. Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to be a mess to try to clean up. Mm -hmm. Let me put the lid on this before I drop it <laughs> or sneeze in it. <laughs> um, that would be my one. Again, that, that really would be. Okay, I'm gonna gently like stir this down into here. In case you're just tuning in, you guys, I make cold processed soap. And it's just like the soap your grandma and great grandmas and great, 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 great grandmas from England and you know, Ireland and wherever used to make. And uh but I've been making body products for a long time, but uh, I got into making soap a while back, and I love it so much that I decided to start a company. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. And uh, if I could just figure out how to do a website, I think that I would be set. Because <laughs> I'm not techie, and I will say that uh, over and over. I'm not techie. That you guys are even seeing me right now do this? is a miracle in itself because I, I really I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> you know I try to do videos and uh, edit them but I don't know how to edit and the one that I did edit it won't let me upload it I don't know why I really don't know why it's crazy Okay, I gotta stick blend this one one more time because you know it's got activated hardwood charcoal and that has to get broken up. Ooh, I'd say that's black, wouldn't you? You think it's black enough? <laughs> That's great. And it's so creamy. This is going to be a great soap, man. It's got a lot of great additives in it. I'm excited. Uh, cure time for these, for
for the cold process soap like this that I make is four to six weeks. Literally, it can be used within like 24 to 48 hours after making it, but the longer it cures, uh, the amount of water that goes into making this soap, it has to, it has to uh, evaporate out, and as it evaporates, the soap shrinks just a smidge. I am like, we're talking like not even like t a tenth, maybe two tenths of an ounce or whatever, but, uh, but the longer it cures, and the normal cure time is four to six weeks, but the longer it cures, the harder the soap gets and then the longer it's going to last. Because, you know, like last week, the video I showed you guys last week, just from after I cut it, the day after I made it, that soap, uh, just, just, let me show you. Here's that soap, y'all. I know it's bright. I'm sorry. I can't even tell. Anyway. Anyway, this is the soap that I made last week and cut. That's a, that's a huge, that's huge. That's how big the, well, I'm not doing a frosted top, so it's going to be about to here. See that, you can tell by the frosted top. Okay, so anyway, that's the soap from last week. Ow. I'm going to mix those before I pour them in. I think that's it for um, the black Hawaiian sea salt, what I'm going to put on the top. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pouring uh, from up high with those. But I'm going to pour this in. Now this is not going to fill this entire loaf because the way that I'm going to make it is I'm going to cut this into short, like, loaves of soap sideways. And then I will cut those big squares in half the other way and what that's going to do is create an awesome design on the inside from the way that I'm going to be pouring that okay so this is not going to be very deep at all it's only going to be about an inch or two deep so I'm shaking this into the corners and making sure that it's nice and level charcoal. I gotta clean this charcoal up, you guys. Let's see if I can do that with uh, tissues. There we go. I had to stop to do that because I didn't want it to get messy, you know. Actually, you know what? I want to leave a little bit of this in here because I need to use a little bit on the top for the design that I'm going to do. I think that'll be enough. Sorry, if you guys don't understand what everything, all these techniques and things I'm saying, um, just ask questions and I'll answer them the best that I can. But at the moment, because this soap batter sets up so quickly, I have to work very, very quickly. Because if it sets up too much while I'm gabbing and playing around with stuff, I'm not going to be able to get things poured like I want to. So now i got to level this out again from where I just... All right, this looks pretty. And yes, that's a word. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Okay, so I got some gray left, or I'm sorry, some black left in that, okay? So this has black in it now, about up to here. Now I'm going to mix these two and I'm going to swirl these all down in there, okay? After I get this mixed, then I'll take the uh, stick blender to it, but I don't want to stick blend the whole thing. Look at that beautiful color. Can you see that? 
course, these lights, it's going to make them look even, you know, lighter because... See, look at that. It's already setting up. Boop! <laughs> got to work fast with this because it does. As soon as it starts cooling, you know, it's got, it's got shea butter in it. And it's got... I didn't tell you. It's made with lard. <laughs> lard, shea butter, coconut oil. Those are my hard, oil, hard butters in it. Hard oils and butters. And yep, lard is what your grandma and great grandma and great 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 grandmas used. And uh, it makes a super creamy, bubbly soap, and it's it's all good. Okay, I gotta stick blend this now. Get rid of my mess and clean up my mess. I hate messes. Okay, let me get these blended. Uh, let's see, I'll start with this one. So again, these colors are Peacock, Gray Satin Pillowcase, and then and Black with the uh, Activated Hardwood Charcoal. Hi, Mark. How are you? Thanks. tell everybody how much I miss coaching baseball. I really do. I really miss it. I miss those boys. I can't believe how big some of them are right now. Man, like seeing graduation pictures and oh my gosh. It's like, am I really that old? Are we really that old? It's crazy. Yep, I coached baseball. Me and Mark coached together for, I think, a couple years. Until I had a bunch of surgeries and I couldn't coach anymore. I had to, I had to step down. Oh, that gray turned out gorgeous. Okay, let me wipe off some more of this gray. Off of that. Do the teal. I keep cramping, my arm keeps cramping. Okay, that's good enough. Um, this is the first time using this peacock color. It's look how be look how beautiful that is. This is gonna be so pretty. Oh my gosh. So good for the skin. Kale and clay, bentonite clay, activated hardwood charcoal, colloidal oats, a very gentle exfoliant of the, uh, the kind of like powdered, but it's crushed uh, walnut shells as the exfoliant. I put that in the gray part, not in all of it, just the gray. You know, it's just a gentle exfoliant. Not like what I'm going to be making probably in the next week or so. Which is going to be for, like, the mechanics. <laughs> All right. Okay. You guys, this is so pretty. Okay, i got to get to pouring. Okay, so I'm going to try. I'm gonna, it's thickening up a little. <laughs> Sorry. It's hot in here, guys. I have the heat on. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. So anyway, I'm going to pour this from up high so it gets down into the black. And it's kerplunkin. It's going to look really cool. And I'm going to do the same with the gray.
I'm just leveling it out a little bit now. I'm not really mixing it, I'm just kind of leveling it. My neighbors love me, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just getting this down off the sides where it kind of went up on it when I was leveling the black earlier. And this is uh, this is butcher paper that I'm using in this box. And this is just a box that you get from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby, like a picture box. You can use a lot of things for soap molds. I think I got lye on my lip or soap on my lip because it's burning. Oh wow. Okay, so I wish I could I wish I could take the phone. Hi Liz. I wish I could take the phone off of there and show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to. Let's see. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna come around there. We're gonna try we're gonna do this, okay? This is what we got so far. You see it? Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is. All right. Hopefully that's back up right. So what I'm gonna do is take some more of this teal color and I'm gonna put it on the top. Okay. And then I'm gonna make the design with that. Am I up too close? I'm up too close. <laughs> How's that? Yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay. So this teal, I'm going to put it on the top and then I'm going to make a design in it. We'll give a little bit of a mix. That helps to uh, thin it back out just a little bit. I don't even want to see what my uh, electric bill is going to be next month for this cold wave that we're having. God, it's bad enough. With you know, we run the air like you know nine months, ten months of the year. Run the air conditioning because it's hot. It was 85 two weekends ago. <laughs> Mother Nature, I don't know who made her mad, but man, she ain't happy with somebody. For sure. This don't have to be perfect. You know, the top's gonna look like what, you know, it's gonna be pretty no matter what. I'm going to clean those sides off again. Oh well. to be okay. It is what it is. Well, I hope you guys are staying warm, and I really pray for you guys up north. I hope, I really hope that you guys don't lose power. Um, earlier, when I was changing into my jeans and stuff, because uh, I was in pajamas all day. <clears throat> it's true, I was. Uh, my lights were flickering, and I thought, N no, no, no. I had the lye mixed. I had my butters melted. Power was not going to go out. No. Mm -mm. No. My neighbors are crazy. They're going in and out that door like, like it's a fire. Not today. <laughs> Sorry. I know a lot of you are going to know what that's from. <laughs> Not today. Uh -uh. Crazy dang videos. 
This is going to be kind of a textured top. <clears throat> you guys can see kind of what I'm doing just like, you know, by my actions. So it's, you know, it's got the gray with a little bit of the blue peeking through, right? And then I put the gray all on the top there. And then I put, the, I'm sorry, I put the teal on the top and some stripes. And then I'm just adding the black to it. And I thought I had a... I thought I had one of my um, chopsticks over here for this design that I'm doing, but it's not over here. So I need to go grab it. Okay, perfect. Let me get this mess out of the way. Let me just take this in the kitchen. I'll be right back. I gotta grab a chopstick. I gotta take a drink. I can see my live like over here on the com I have my laptop set up <laughs> so I can make sure because I can't through these and the lights shining in my eyes I can't see my phone too well which is why you keep seeing me squint but I can see my laptop monitor like I can see me pointing at myself. <laughs> this is flat by the way otherwise I wouldn't be able to drink it reasons that I let you all know in last week. Okay, I gotta clean the sides off real quick. I know it looks kind of like a mess right now. See that? Okay. Looks a little bit of a mess. But it's okay. Like I said, it, the top's going to be a little bit textured, and I and that's what my uh, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Gives kind of a tiger strike, strike. I can't even talk today. smells good. It really does smell good. I like it. Let's see if I can't clean these edges up a little better. Otherwise, when I show you what it looks like, it's going to look like crap. So I believe I'm going to have nine bars out of this. I might have more. I don't think it's going to be deep enough to actually cut it in half because I want the design on the top for every single bar. I can take these off now. Whew. You should see this color. you can see when you take off those stupid glasses. Safety first though, right Mikey? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. So if I make, let's see, one, two, two, four, six, eight. I might be able to get 10 or 12 bars out of this okay so if you guys want if you if you want some of this like I said it'll be cured in four to six weeks that's that's my cure time that I allow for my soaps because I want them to be of the best quality for you guys okay I really do I really wanted to put some silver glitter on the top of the soap but I didn't think you guys would like that so much so anyway, I'm done. That's all I'm going to do to the soap. So let me uh, come and get the camera to take it off. Show you guys what all I made here. Hold on, let me clean it up a little more. 
it all gets messy. You know, it's a, it's a messy, this is messy. It's a messy, messy, messy process, messy job. Clean up these corners a little bit better. Okay, let me kind of get the camera off, or the phone off of the thing there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. All right, so here we go. Let me show you what we got here. See how it's textured? How you like that? It's beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Sheila. Okay. Well, <sighs> I'm exhausted. So I will cut that probably tomorrow and uh, I will let you guys. Uh, I'll probably video that so you guys can see the cutting of it. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. It was good to see some of you guys. Haven't seen or talked to you in a long time. So, uh, you guys, stay warm and uh, God bless and do your thing.